So today in this video we will cover how we can create um, ethical AdWords campaign on uh, Google AdWords. Uh, if you are having a tech support business and you are facing difficulties as far as uh, AdWords account is being concerned, so this video will help you up uh, in order to run your ads on AdWords uh, by following uh, Google AdWords policy. So first of all, I would like to uh, share the Google AdWords uh, policies uh, with you, um, like as you are having a tech support business vertical. So what uh, policies you have to follow on your website. So for this, I would like to show you uh, one of my client website, uh, which I am running on Google AdWords. So this is the website of my client and I am working on this project and uh, he is getting very good response through Google AdWords. I will share each and everything, but uh, first of all, um, let me share uh, policies with you. So as you can see, uh, this is the website. I am on to website. I hope uh, you can see my screen also. So first policy, uh, which is very important for a tech support business vertical is a disclaimer policy. Uh, disclaimer is mandatory uh, for tech support uh, business vertical uh, websites for tech support business vertical websites uh, disclaimer is mandatory and disclaimer should be uh, on your header part it should be there on your website header part as well as in the footer part which you can see here this is the disclaimer which I have um, uh, which my client have uploaded on the footer part as well as this disclaimer same you can see in the header part uh, disclaimer is nothing but it's like uh, you have to inform to Google as well as to the visitor who is coming onto your website that uh, you are working as an individual third party and the trademark terms brand which you are using onto your website these are just reference purposes and have no intended in clash with uh, with the official company and uh, like this you have to mention but I'm just giving an idea like what you can uh, inform to the content writer whosoever will write content for you so this is very important and with that uh, some of the other policies are very important which you can see here FAQ is very important refund policy is very important because this is the paid services uh, which you are offering so like refund policy is mandatory so like in that you can mention your uh, refund criteria terms and conditions I'll just wait for a moment yeah so I'm continuing so as I'm on uh, the policy part so like as I told you that uh, terms and condition is also very important so terms of use which you can see here this is the terms and condition with that very important policy is privacy policy so privacy policy is also there onto your website so without these policies it's very difficult to run tech support business on AdWords so you have to follow all these policies which is very important so uh, please make sure that whatever policy you will write from your uh, any other person so these policies uh, content should be original so content part again as I told you that content part is important so the content onto your website is also very important so please write original content don't uh, do copy paste from other websites because uh, if your content is original so um, like it's very easy for you to run your ads on um, Google AdWords so it's a part of policy also for tech support business vertical with that one more thing I would like to tell you that in the price plan um, like you have to mention um, each and everything like uh, whatever uh, price plans you are having you have to give a detailed report uh, for those price plans like whatever services you are providing into that plan it should be uh, visible onto the uh, price plan rate page so like uh, as you can see like these are the things which client is providing in the in this amount uh, which uh, support amount you have mentioned so it should be visible there onto your price plan without this it's very difficult to run tech support business vertical uh, one more policy I would like to tell you uh, that uh, in the contact us page uh, it's mandatory to uh, show your physical address uh, be it any location but it's mandatory that you have to show your physical location with that your official phone number as well as your company email ID on which if any customer is facing any difficulty to contact you on phone so he can reach you uh, by using your email ID uh, with that uh, one more thing is very important in your contact us page this inquiry form is mandatory as you can see on every page of mine you will see this inquiry form but if you are not interested to um, uh, put this inquiry form on every page but in contact us page it's mandate that you have to uh, 
you 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 should have to use this inquiry form because if in case any contact number email id is not working so that the customer can reach you through this form so this is the google policies which you have to uh, follow on your uh, website with the help of this you can run your tech support campaign very easily and one more thing i would like to tell you just wait for a moment you can see this is the virus page so one more thing i would like to tell you please uh, avoid copyright images uh, this is these are not the copyright images these are the free images which the designer have used on this website with that um, with that if you are using any uh, trademark term or any brand name if you are using uh, try to twist that word like as you can see this is the heading which i have mentioned in uh, my uh, page for the uh, in this website for my client this is tech support for virus i have not uh, added up in a straight way like if somebody writes um, virus support this is wrong so this is wrong this is wrong way to use so you have to use it like this virus just wait for a moment you have to use it in this way you have to twist this word support for virus by your company name let's say as this company is using itechpcsmart.com so this like this way you have to use it uh, your uh, headings in your uh, pages so this is the correct way to use if you are uh, working on any uh, like uh, if you are providing support on any other antivirus let's say i'll give you one example i'm assuming uh, avg avg antivirus so you, this is the wrong way to use avg antivirus on your content part you have to use it in this way help and support for help and support for avg antivirus by your company name so this is the proper way uh, which you have to use and on the basis of that if google will take your side in a manual review uh, he will not uh, penalize you for this he will make you to run your uh, ads on google i'll show you the account also of my client uh, um uh, like uh, client account also i will show you um, uh, like the client ad which i am running as if now on google so you will get some idea also like what other policies i have uh, used in my ads as well as in my keywords which actually help us uh, me to at least uh, run these uh, client ads on google and one more thing i would like to tell you please try to avoid any uh, misleading commitments on your website some of the client says that 100% money back guarantee 100% resolution rate like this try to avoid this uh, these terms because these are the misleading commitments so one of the policy says if you are misleading on your website it's also against um, adwords policy so try to avoid these things so this what i would like to tell you and the major which i would like to uh, repeat once again is try to avoid copyright images and uh, twist brand names or to avoid brand names in your website content uh, and uh, rest of the policies i told you in beginning that these policies you have to follow so like this you have to uh, you, you the policies are there on to your website which will actually help you now i am sharing my client account with you i will also share the conversion rate which is getting from google adwords trust me google adwords is providing bang on business for the tech support business vertical if in case your ads run on google so that experience you will do itself so like you can see the campaign of mine um, like this is the 12000 i have spent it on 16th of jan uh, this year 2015 i created this campaign and uh, total clicks i got so far 62 and my total cost to spend as so far is 12124 uh, rupees as if now so i will show you i have created one virus campaign but i have followed in my ads i would like to share with you so this is the 54 uh, 54 click i got so i will share this campaign performance with you it's running as if now also it's not suspended um, my site is not suspended because i'm following all the policies so it's running very smoothly trust me so you can um, experience itself by doing all these changes and by following all these policies onto your website so this is the website which i i, I showed you this is the website itechpcsmart.com it's my client website i'm telling you i'm providing consultation services on this project so this is the ad which i have designed um, i have not used any trademark term 
Nothing I have used. It's a simple ad which I have created. Virus removal by expert. Online removal of spyware and viruses. Free diagnosis, 24 by 7 services. This is the domain. And if somebody clicks onto this advertisement, he will land to the virus page only. This page only. Right? So, uh, I will show you the keywords also which I have put it up in this um, AdWords account, in this campaign. So, these are the keywords. In the broad match only, I use these keywords. And um, I have not used any trademark term in my uh, keywords. You can see it. It's a simple uh, campaign I have created. You can see. Without using any trademark term, I have put it up, I have selected some keywords and these keywords are running perfectly fine. So like you can see here, all the keywords you can see impressions also I am getting and I am running it from last one month, I am getting very good response out of it. I will share with you the conversion rate which I am getting. So like this you have to uh, create your campaign and um, for sure ads will go live. And one more thing I would like to tell you. Um, the total clicks he got so far is 62 and the cost which he spent so far is uh, 12,124 rupees. Um, this is the report which I have um, created uh, for you so that um, you will get some fair idea like the response which I am getting from Google AdWords. This is the conversion rate. Conversion rate I am sharing with you uh, for this client. Uh, conversion rate formula is total conversion divided by total clicks multiply by 100 and the results you will get in percentage. So the total click he got in this campaign is 62 and uh, I asked him about the conversion so he told me that he got somewhere around 35 calls. So this conversion client informed me so I have mentioned here 35. So if I calculate according to this formula so I got somewhere around 56 percentage. Uh, so this is the conversion rate which client is getting actually. And uh, it's, a, it's a very good ratio as far as uh, conversion rate has been concerned for tech support business. And uh, trust me in 12,000 uh, rupees, he told me that he done a sale of somewhere around $2,500. So these are the real results I'm sharing with you. And um, um, if you will, uh, if you need any assistance on your tech support project, so you can also contact me. Uh, you can visit my website. Uh, it's uh, ppcexpertclasses.com and you can contact me. You will get my uh, contact number over there and uh, you can contact me. I will assist you for this and uh, as if now I'm providing consultation only. So I cannot pro provide you full time support management. So I can only assist you. So as a consultant, I can guide you. So if you need any assistance of mine, if required, then you can contact me. Rest. I have shared my experience with you online uh, by showing you the campaign and each and everything. So like uh, rest of the things, uh, you can do it by self. So this is what I would like to share with you. Thanks for your time. I hope you like this video and keep watching my videos. Thank you so much.